Hello Leos, this is monthly spread for you, month of November 2015 and today I'm using a uh, Tarot 78 doors. On the bottom of the deck this month I decided it will be something, I don't know, <clears throat> maybe some issue, maybe some, not even advice, some event maybe, something that can tell you about something. Here on the bottom of the deck we have four of swords. Someone who is really too uh, much, uh, a lot of self-criticism here. And this person thinking so much about his uh, problems, about himself, that uh, finally he is like left alone. Uh, people don't want to contact him because he uh, don't want to contact other people. That's why uh, they are like leaving him alone, at least for a while. Maybe it uh, it's making some sense for you. But when we're coming to the first and third house in your spread, maybe this Four of Swords... Mm, making sense actually because what do we see in the first house it's like your own mood basic mood two of cups in reversed uh, a little bit of i don't know maybe you don't trust someone maybe it's uh, it has to do something with particular person in your life but because of this, you <clears throat> don't want to trust people. You don't want to make it up with them. Like, let them come to you first. If they want your friendship, your love, you like letting them come to you first. And ask for forgiveness and all this stuff. But you feel like maybe you want to talk to someone. I mean, like... Uh, uh, speak something out not like conflict exactly but maybe you want to find out something and it has to do something with your uh, emotions emotionally you feel not so friendly uh, like you don't want to contact other people for some reason and third house this is a way of thinking, way of communication. And here, Knight of Cups in reversed also. This is also some kind of aggression, might be. Like, but this aggression, it's because you feel a little bit, I don't know, Uh, like you afraid of some emotional pain that's why it's like it's a way of uh, defending yourself this aggression it's your way of defense uh, not because you're aggressive uh, because th third house also our business communication so be aware of this uh, energies so you will not uh, I don't know, do something or say something or write something <laughs> to business partners or clients. Be aware of this energy. <clears throat> Maybe you feel like this because of some particular one person. But this mood, you can bring it into other uh, communication with other people as well. Finances. We have the Hermit here in the second house is financial stability your budget this month because hermit is not bringing it's the um, person who went uh, in the desert and uh, trying to like I don't want all these uh, things from uh, the world like food money I don't need anything it doesn't mean that you don't need that it but uh, hermit is not very rich actually financially I mean so maybe you have the month where you are uh, you have to be patient 
uh, you have to understand that uh, <coughs> even if it's stable it's not uh, bring it, it doesn't bring you a feeling of stability financial stability for some reason you have to be patient but for those of you who are working uh, on stable job this a king of swords in the tenth house maybe you have just stable uh, income like you have been paid twice a month and nothing is changing but maybe for you it's not enough that's why you have to be patient as well uh, in the fourth house it's home and family we have four pentacles and in this deck for me it's like <clears throat> she is trying to she's thinking I'm so big this door is so small how I can come inside this door because it's not her size actually like something don't fit into something there is no equality what it can be in your case it's difficult to say especially in general spread but something is like maybe you just bought I don't know <clears throat> a wardrobe and when you uh, took all your uh, things uh, clothes from your old wardrobe and you're trying to put it in a new one maybe it's a little bit smaller <clears throat> and you can't uh, fit it there that's all it can be some simple thing or maybe you're trying to find uh, an apartment or the house because it's also fourth uh, house in this spread it's uh, property real estate maybe you're trying to find a house and the price is for um, this house what you found it's too big or it's too cheap and you're also surprised how can it be <clears throat> so any kind of unequality fifth house it's a house of pleasures games flirt children hobbies here you have wonderful four of ones we see wonderful comfort home probably this man came home and uh, his wife uh, beautiful one and his wonderful kids meeting him uh, saying hello to him holding him giving him a hug so it's such a sweet nice comfortable warm atmosphere that's why I think that with your kids you will be really happy they will bring you comfort and joy in November you will have really nice uh, warm relationships with your kids maybe some of, for some of you Leos maybe your kids will come at home if they are already grown up and living somewhere else maybe they coming to visit you or coming back from somewhere for hobby also because it's a really comfortable uh, atmosphere maybe you uh, I don't know finishing some big work <coughs> in your hobby like this woman she was preparing to meet her husband from the work uh, she was cooking she was preparing something cleaning the house so like she did some work to meet him maybe you like finishing some work in your hobby uh, to I don't know maybe you will uh, give it away to some exhibition or anything like this or maybe you want to sell it as well uh, and for flirt for me for me for, for once it's especially in this deck it's really nice sweet card where we feel comfortable where we feel like at home in the nice home I mean sixth house it's daily routine and health daily obligations uh, seven of wands here uh, maybe some of you Leos a lot of you trying to do a lot of things sometimes taking too much on your shoulders 
and trying to help everyone and not thinking so much about yourself. Mm, this is your nature, you are like this, a lot of Leos like this, trying to help everybody in the family, trying to do a lot of things, having a lot of obligations and continue to take it on yourself. So this month also also like this because this person he is really brave he is honest he is trying to do some hard work and it's his initiative to do this <laughs> the funny thing is it's his initiative so for health he looks very strong and healthy so I think that I don't know how you call it uh, but your body will be not only body, uh, I mean, your health will be strong enough to fight any, if you catch the cold or anything, like, uh, you are strong enough. What's the word for this? The nature of your body. I don't know the word. It's medical things. I don't know how, <laughs> how you call it. But you understand what I mean. You will be strong enough to fight any kind of sickness. Seventh house, uh, it's partnership and marriage. We have the justice card here. Of course, it can be legal uh, issues that has to do something with your partner. Like, uh, it can be marriage, because it's legal papers we're getting. It can be divorce, because we're also getting legal papers. But if, uh, when I'm talking about divorce, I'm not saying that you will get divorce uh, in, uh, in November. Uh, usually, we're coming to this point point uh, slowly and uh, quite uh, some time so it's for those of you who are already almost uh, like separated and now you're getting the divorce uh, but another thing is that Actually, it's always the justice telling us that we're getting what we deserved in some way. I mean, what do I mean? How should I explain so you will understand me right? For example, you have been dating with someone, uh, if you're single. You have been dating, uh, it's a nice person, if you have been showing all your love. You have been doing everything what you could. Um, you paid attention to this person. You have been honest. Uh, you have been faithful to each other. Each other. This month of November, maybe finally, it doesn't have to be that you will get married, but you will become like a real couple because you did everything that you could. Opposite thing can be like you have been dating with one person, with another person, uh, cheating on them uh, both anything like this you did bad things then when we're getting justice maybe they both left you they said hello my friend bye bye so this is the also justice justice uh, and remember when we're getting the justice card we have to be honest with our partner if you're currently coupled or married we have to be honest we have to remember about some equality we have to be serious about our decisions about our behavior because later on when we'll see the justice we will not be afraid because we know we did everything right we tried our we did our best so justice doesn't have to be but uh, for me for those who currently coupled and married Justice telling that it's more reason, I mean, thoughts uh, in your relationships this month instead of feelings and emotions. Like you're using your head, you are taking it seriously, you are honest with your partner. <clears throat> uh, eighth house, it's um, the lovers here the lovers uh, some of you maybe you deciding should you take the loan in the bank or not how you should do it is it reasonable because uh, lovers it's always choice that we have to make and it's really serious and it will affect our life for some months years 
so it's uh, you have to be honest with yourself in the first time do you want to take it or not and also because I see this nine of wands I'll come to this lovers in the ninth house house of our belief system philosophy uh, nine of wands in reverse <clears throat> I think that, dear Leos, that some of your mm, beliefs, things that you believed in, I'm not talking about even a religion, I'm talking about some things that we were sure at. For some reason, this month, you doubt, you have some doubts. Or maybe even you are throwing some of your beliefs away for some reason. Maybe you found out that it was illusions, it's not true. Uh, why did I believe that it has to be so and so? Something like you changing your mind actually. And sometimes it can be stressful, sometimes it can be unusual because it's like uh, maybe it's uh, you going out. Uh, like uh, of your from your comfort zone mm, it's difficult uh, if we believed in something that I don't know all Russians they are drinking and suddenly we meet Russian who is not drinking at all never have been drinking then we're changing our mind maybe I'm thinking that all Germans they drinking beer and then when I'll meet German who saying beer I hate it <laughs> then I'll change my mind of course but for some Leos, uh, this changes in uh, your belief system can be so strong that you even deciding should I change my religion even? Because eight house, it's also house of I don't know. No, I can't say it in in English. I don't know the word. Uh, no, I don't know how you call it. Anyway, it can be like this. It can be so serious that we really begin to think that, uh, for example, if I have been Christian, maybe uh, for some reason I found out that, no, I think I want to be take another religion, for example. Somehow I came to this uh, conclusion. Tenth house... But it doesn't have to be so serious. It Anyway, it's general reading. But some of your beliefs, even in simple things. Like I was thinking, for example, that, uh, I don't know, moonstone here. I was thinking that it's uh, like um, completely transparent. But now I see it's a little bit uh, of blue, a little bit of yellow. So... Uh, I'm changing my mind when I saw it in real life. Anything. Tenth house, it's a job, career and a, your reputation. King of Swords for me, it's stability. For those who are like um, having some kind of authority or working, uh, maybe who is really a doctor or who working in the police uh, or anywhere where there is some authority maybe it can be career shift I'm not sure by King of Swords but stability anyway and reputation what reputation doctor has we all respect this person uh, some people they are afraid of the doctor so maybe like people respecting you some People, they're afraid of you. They think you mm, can be cruel even. But anyway, they feel like a little bit fear in front of you for some reason. Maybe they think that you can be dangerous if you will be their enemy. Because King of Swords, he can be really cruel. And people who are... Who is... Uh, who... Mm, is his enemy who are who are people who are uh, beginning to be uh, an enemy with him he can be really tough cruel and 
even dangerous for them as an enemy I mean 11th house it's house of friends and our like goals what do we want from uh, life <laughs> uh, this month of course we're talking about November Wheel of Fortune here changes probably a lot of Leos you want changes you want a destiny to give you something like you are expecting some luck as well you want this luck you ready for some changes and uh, like you wa waiting when this wheel of fortune you ready for this you want this wheel to turn a little bit maybe if you feel stuck you want those changes maybe if you have been in some uh, difficult situation for a while you also waiting dear God when this will will change because it's so difficult I'm waiting for those changes when we're talking about because 11th house also house of friends and our like um, position in society actually not uh, about career in society in things uh, about, about our group creative work like um, groups group of musicians um, theater when we singing together anything that or that we're doing together with other people I mean creative things that we're doing uh, will of fortune can be something that maybe you will meet someone and it meant to be this to meet this person for you it's like destiny doing something bringing you some circumstances people situations and it it meant to be like i don't know you have been playing guitar for few years you meeting some person who is later on will invite you on some concert and there will be some musician who will say uh, who will invite you in their group anything like this I mean d destiny is really unpredictable how your destiny will play for you dear Leos it's difficult to say but it can be also when we're meeting someone who we have to meet it it meant to be like you're meeting this with with this person uh, 12th house it's a very dark house it's a difficult house it's some things that in our, our unconscious mind and some things that um, might be as an obstacle for us not an obstacle but something that is um, <clears throat> making us trouble actually and <clears throat> ace of pentacles in unconscious mind thinking about abundance thinking about health physical body thinking about beginning of something new thinking about some um, serious uh, for example relationships I wanna begin not just date I wanna begin some relationships so I can later on build a family anything any new beginning but how it can become an obstacle and problem for us because maybe like you know maybe you have to like I want to build the house it's also a big thing actually a new thing yes I want to build a house maybe you have to like prepare the ground and at first or do something do some preparation and something uh, before you begin you will begin this uh, building and uh, if you're thinking too much about I want to begin something I want to begin maybe you have to finish something here before you can begin the, we're talking about only one month so maybe like you want to start something but before this you have to prepare uh, the ground for this to make some basement and from Gateway by Denise Lin, for you, dear Leos, came wonderful card actually. It's called hmm, 
how it's cool. Mm. When we're working on the earth, but here create your own well welfare. Like abundance of universe is coming into my life. And for me, I think the first thing that you must do, like believe in the first place that you deserved it. Abundance, money, love, anything that will make you to feel abundant. In the first place, you have to believe. Allow the universe. You have to believe that universe is really, really abundant and there is enough of everything for everybody. There is so many people living in the world, so there is couple for everyone. Money, it's only papers, actually. <laughs> but we are all needed uh, also to make our life better, actually. That's why, but you have to believe it's enough of everything. The most important thing, you have to believe that you deserved it and you are ready, you open your heart, you open your mind and do something. Because, you know, actually it's not a lot of things to do, uh, to put some seeds in the soil. Then later on rain will come, sun will be shining and you will get like the harvest but you have to in the first place begin and do some small things and continue to believe that it will be wonderful harvest so dear Leos I'm wishing you a great month of November and hope to see you next time bye